And you're not Badmos TV. Entertainment without bound. yards of wife material maybe husband material you are but we are bound to find out as we're all out here to see a movie that was directed by Coyote Kasum and yes we have an amazing amazing cast Nasi Sime we have Benita we have Sharon Oja and a quite number of amazing people on this one who are about to take us on the jolly ride on this comedy drama and yes I'm expecting it to blow our minds I hope you will enjoy it as much when it finally hits the cinema on the 16th of October 2020 I'm here to have fun and talk to some of people in the movie but hey guys you know this is in Elabadmos TV and my name is Elisha Moyasara Lua stay right here as I bring you another awesome event I thought we were good together. I thought everything was okay. You told me that you wanted to get married. I am so glad to introduce to you Cam Billy, the old Betty. Yeah, this is our son. I'm so glad that you are happy. How are you? I am very well. How are you? Very well too. Really, no, don't give me this calmness because we know that the movie is about you being everywhere and all yeah, of that. You know, so scattered and everywhere. She's, 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 she's something. She's definitely something. Yeah. Tell us about the journey. Oh, it's been amazing. You mean ask Kambili from getting, I mean, from getting the call to check the script and like negotiations and coming on set and of course post-production and our group and finding out what's happening with the film. It's been great to finally be here. Um, I'm excited. I wish um, uh, conditions around the world would be better, especially with the pandemic. I'm sure this entire place would have been filled up with people, um, but we must do our part by making sure everywhere is, you know, so. But I was very happy to experience it with other people as well, to watch it and hear their reactions, hear people laugh and sigh. I'm, I'm very happy. What's wrong with you? Really, did I swear for you? Give me my final warning letter. Final what? Final what? Chef Nicole Emanuel, I can not follow. Let's sell it. Let's tell them why they should come see it. Oh, you guys come see Kambili. I'm not gonna, you know, put any ambitious words out there, but it's such a good film. I thoroughly enjoyed it as an actor, just watching. I even, so at some point, you know, I can't say I forgot I was in the film because obviously I'm in every scene, um, almost every scene. <laughs> so, but, um, Come to this film. You would love it. You either know someone that's going through it or you're going through it or like it's just so relatable which is what makes it very beautiful. So interesting to introduce to you Mama Kambili. <laughs> I hope I'm right to say that. Mama Kambili. <laughs> Yes. How are you doing tonight, Mom? Oh, very well. How are you? Very well, too. And I'm sure you've had an amazing night watching your work. How does it feel? It feels really, really good. I, I, this is the first time we've seen it, so I was, I was nervous. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I had a lot of trust in Kayode, the, the director, so I knew it would be good. But honestly, it was so much fun. and. Even though we were laughing, it's actually a very, you know, it has serious issues being addressed in the film and I, it was just so much fun. John was there. Did you see him? Oh, yeah. What would you say to young ladies who are currently going through this kind of pressure? Don't, don't let yourself go through the pressure. Concentrate on other things. You know, the right man will come. And the truth is that the only problem women have is that the ovaries don't wait for anybody you know what I mean if you want to have children that's part of it in Nigeria as well I want you going to have grandpikin for me and all that but don't let yourself be pressurized because you'll just end up in the wrong place okay so I'm definitely going to do this in Adenike's voice the reigning director Kaya De Kasum how are you doing I'm good thank you thank you thank you I mean you're just giving us back to back to back from sugar rush to um, elevator baby of Alakada. Of Alakada, and then now we are here. Of Kambili. Yeah. 
does it feel having so much work come up back to back and being appreciated? Um, grateful. Thank God. It's by God's grace. He's the one that he had this all planned out. I mean, from, if you told me in 2020, I'll have um, three cinema projects, I wouldn't have believed it. I just was going into 2020, going about dreaming, man, just telling stories. If any time, with any opportunity I got. So I'm happy. I'm excited. Um, it's a good feeling. Hotness. Hotness. In the video. I mean, I'm blowing like hot, hot, hot right now. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Fine. You look amazing as always. Like, I'm a huge fan of your look. Thank you. So do you look amazing today? Thank you. Let's talk about why you're out tonight. After lockdown, we are all at the cinemas again. How does that make you feel? Um, to be honest, it's exciting that places are opening up and everybody is managing um, living with, with the pandemic as the best way they possibly can. So it's good to be back in the cinemas. I've missed seeing movies. Family. Back to your business idea. The one that she's too broke to fund, right? <laughs> Who are you rooting for tonight from the characters or cast in the movie? I'm rooting for Campbell Lee. I think she's a very sweet person and it's obvious that her love and everything is she's just she's just lost and showing affection is lost in translation. And I'm really rooting for her that she gets everything back on her feet. I'm rooting for her. Go Campbell Lee! Go Campbell Lee! <laughs> Thank you for talking to her. Thank you. I should be pressured for any reason when it comes to marriage. Absolutely not, absolutely not. I think you should do what you want to do when you are ready to do it. But that being said, I think there's this, the idea of not being pressured is putting so much pressure on not being pressured to a point where women don't want to get married no more. Do what? It's too much thinking. Don't ever feel pressure to do anything, especially marriage, something that is lifelong. It's really, really, it's a big uh, uh, step to take, so you can never feel pressure. You should be ready. But you shouldn't always also just, you know, be so afraid of the idea of being married that you say no, it's pressure you're running away from. Hi wonderful people, my name is Eniola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much guys and guys please do not forget that there's pandemic in the lab. We need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands we should use alcohol based sanitizer we should maintain social distancing we should use nose mask to be protected above all guys let's stay safe so i have my girl there venita <laughs> so it's exciting to see like this movie and i feel like it really touches on um you know for a young woman who is 28 and almost turned 30 what the pressure is about like for a young woman who is not yet married at 28 so i feel it's something a young lady will relate to and it's really interesting to see nancy act that part and carry it out and then venita the friend you know so it's nice do you think women should be pressured for any reason when it comes to marriage i don't think women should be pressured for anything especially with the way we see marriages today go i feel like you have to be mentally and emotionally prepared for what you know you are taking because a lot of people confuse the whole wedding <coughs> and then they all take it like oh my wedding has to be this, this this and then they forget the aftermath which is the marriage it's beyond based on my understanding it's beyond just i mean even boyfriend and girlfriend you break up 100 times your boyfriend they imagine you being married stay in the house that's going to last like a lifetime so i feel like you need to be to be certain I mean, nobody's ever sure, but there's just this um, effort, you know, you put into it. So if you're not mentally prepared, don't allow anybody to pressure it into something that, you know, you just go in and then you come out from it, except that kind of thing you want to do. But I feel like in life generally, there should not be any pressure. Take your time. And the fact that people have failed marriages or successful ones, it's not a measure of how long they waited or how early they got married. It just happened. Skinny about Campbell tonight. It's finally coming to the cinemas, and yes, the long, the wait has been really long. How did you cope while waiting? Like, <laughs> you know, I've just been. I, I must also commend that the Nigerian movie industry has been amazing, and you know, they've just been blowing our heads. And during this corona, I feel they've just been a lot of improvements, and you know. I've just been waiting to see this movie because like as a young single girl in Lagos it's so relatable. Everybody has like an age they want to you know settle down. So this movie I feel is going to probably teach me how to do it, right? The movie, how do you feel first of all? Having us. Um, well I really don't know what to expect, but I know it's an amazing cast that on that's on yes, so I, I expect nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. 
they say the whole 10 yards, but it's the whole 30 yards today. So let, let's see how that goes. But talk, talk, talking about how relatable the story is, I mean, everyone seems to feel like the story is relatable to every girl. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. I mean, every girl wants to get married. So, <laughs> yeah, so we're here to watch and see what the life of the girl is like trying to get married. All right, let's talk about Kambili. I'm sure you enjoyed it. What's your favorite part of the movie, message from the movie? Um, the message from the movie, like uh, Auntie Alvina Ibru said after the movie, that I mean, women don't put too much pressure on yourselves and go and settle for anything. You get what I mean? But uh, my favorite part of the movie was the car scene between herself and Maudi, and when Maudi was in, like, uh, when she was talking about you know, the ring and she was struggling to take it off and put it back on. So that was my favorite part. But the movie, the, so many lessons to be learned from the movie. And uh, one of the most important take-homes from that movie is the, you know, the value of friendship. You know what I mean? Because our friends were there for her in the lowest times. And um, also don't put so much pressure on yourself to get married as a woman because marriage is not a make or break type thing. It's, you can be a fool, boss woman without getting married. So it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Family, you are late again. Not crazy this way, girl. I heard that. My bad. Family, this way for you. Find out what? Find out what? Step me for the man like this. I can not follow. What you need is new blood. New dates. Don't you guys get angry? Family, mm. back to your business idea. The one that she's too broke to fund, right? She is kind of broke. <laughs> she's like broke, broke. <laughs> Woo! John was there. Did you see him? Oh. Mm. I'm still here begging John, begging John, trying to show him that I'm wife myself. Uh, you must be company. I've heard so much about you. And I've heard nothing about you. If she's down, and she needs someone to cheer her up. She should watch Comedy Central or something. Bro, you first. Who's your bro? And collect your suspension letter. Ah! ah. Jessica and Yeah, yeah can be. Like and subscribe to Enela Badmos TV. And my name is Alesha Moyasara Lua. Stay right here as I bring you another awesome event. Enola Badmos TV. Entertainment without